This video is about adding and registering for courses during registration periods. To start, open PATH, select the login icon in the upper right corner, and log in with your William & Mary credentials. All registration is managed through the primary cart when the add drop period opens for undergraduate students or when registration opens for graduate level students. To view any courses in your primary cart, select the correct term from the drop down menu, then select the primary cart button. Courses you are fully registered for display with a black check mark. Courses that are in your cart but you have not yet registered for display with a blue cart icon. Use the search fields on the left to find and search for a course. Select the Add to Cart button at the bottom of the Course Details panel, choose the primary cart, then select OK. The Registration Options panel appears. If the course is a variable credit course, I may adjust the credit hours by using the Credit Hours drop-down menu. Econ 101 is not a variable credit course, and therefore no adjustment to credit hours is possible. A separate video tutorial is available for the conditional Add Drop feature. Select the Save Changes button to save the course to your primary cart. Courses in your primary cart display with the blue cart icon. If there are any registration errors, they will display with the black or yellow triangle icon. You may choose to add courses one at a time, or you may add several courses before submitting the registration. Select the Submit Schedule, then Submit Registration buttons to attempt registration in the course. If registration is successful, PATH displays a message like this class has been added to your schedule. If registration is unsuccessful, PATH displays a message indicating why registration was unsuccessful. Some courses have co-requisites that must be attempted simultaneously. In this example, I am attempting to register for AMST 200, so I add the course to my primary cart and submit. If you do not add all the correct co-requisite components, PATH will display registration errors in your primary cart until the error is resolved. Your registration will not be successful. AMST 200D, the discussion section, is a required co-requisite of AMST 200. After adding the discussion section, the registration error disappears from my primary cart. You may also indicate to PATH which courses to attempt when submitting registration by using the checkboxes to the right of the courses in the Submit Registration panel. The default is checked. PATH will attempt registration unless you uncheck the box. In this example, I am waiting for instructor approval for my freshman research course. I may uncheck the box and submit again to only submit my registration in AMST 200 and 200D. PATH will allow you to add and remove courses in your primary cart even if you have a registration hold. However, in order to submit your registration, students must resolve all registration holds. Remember to resolve any registration holds immediately, as they will prevent registration. Evaluate all error messages in your cart to ensure successful registration. If you have questions, undergraduate students may contact the University Registrar's Office. Graduate students may contact their graduate registrar's office.